what to do, OHG people. Um, obviously, someone had a gamer here. Now, I usually do a review on Madden games yearly. Every single year I do one. This one is going to be more of a rant. My rant is... This is pretty much the same game as last year. Madden NFL. Cut and paste. Alright. I spent a lot of time trying to write up a, a professional review. But, this game doesn't feel professional to me. It feels like we paid... $60 for a beta. A beta, guys. It's a beta. Since it's, since it's release um, a little more than a month ago, the game has been updated 11 times. It's in the middle of downloading the 11th time right now, by the way. This game's a mess. It's a mess. First, they had to fix. Uh, they had to fix a lot of things so far. This, uh, the internet is not. Um, the internet has plenty of Madden glitches that you can search for and find. One of the ones I came across, I'm going to go into my franchise while I do this. Um, one of the things that I've come across is, uh, um, there's a glitch that turns the entire screen white. I've come across that with a friend of mine twice. I have this on Xbox as well. Um, it runs a little bit better on Xbox, if I'm being honest. Um, but it still plays like garbage. Um, Coverage, coverages get blown all the time. I caught an interception yesterday when I was playing with a friend. Um, and it, uh, the ball stayed on my head for a while. And then I caught it. Um, Select the team you want to join. Electronic Arts likes to just mail things Start in. your season with recommended um, settings if you wish to change so or adjust options use they the mailed this on one in. my now I have a theory I'm not gonna dog this I'm not gonna sit here and dog it because I do have fun with it mostly shout out to my boy Melvin I beat his ass on the regular um yeah, I'm, I'm starting that. I beat his ass on the regular. Um, but, uh, I still have fun with it. But the issue is, I have fun with it because it's the only pro football game we have on the market. Having the exclusivity deal made the Madden developers lazy. I have been playing Madden with my dad for I don't know how many years. I think we started in 92 or 93 on the Genesis and the quality that has fallen um it's just it's sad man 
Um, but uh, I firmly believe that we have been playing the same game since uh, maybe 2017. No, even earlier. 2015. Whenever the Ultimate Team started to become more of a uh, prevalent thing. Um, and just starting a, a new franchise here so I can show you guys some of the gameplay. Um, trust me. Now that I'm playing the game, it probably won't show any any glitches or nothing. But, um, trust me, this has some stuff. And believe me, I had to, I had to take off the menu music because I don't want to get copywritten. Um, but, um, like I said, normally I do a, a review where I write up a, or I write up a whole thing of pros and cons. Honestly, dudes, there is no pros and cons list. It's literally cut and paste. And I, my theory is that they're just waiting for the next gen consoles to launch. But that isn't acceptable. By selecting um, goal. and franchise mode. My god, I'm a franchise player. I don't like to play online with people. Because people like to exploit Madden and, you know, make it glitch out and stuff. So, um, franchise mode has not been changed, largely. Um, there are features in games that came out ten years ago that are missing now. There are no mini camps. Um, there are no, there's no, uh... Build your own uh, stadium. There's no um, create your own team. None of that. We're missing so much depth. Um, <clears throat> I mean, hey, I'm, I'm missing Madden 06. They made you take the, uh, I believe the, the, I believe they call it the Wonderlick test. Um, <laughs> which test your IQ as a football player. Um, I even missed that. I never knew what the answers were. But, um, guys, uh, even more alarming is the, um, the score on Metacritic. The user score is point two. If you don't believe me, go on Metacritic right now and have a look at that. Um, I mean, look, those screens look good. I mean, those look awesome, but those aren't what you get in the game. I mean, some of the players look like themselves. But some of the players look generic. And this is not the first time EA got called out for that. <laughs> um, I believe that there needs to be competition within the football market to uh, push EA. See, that's nowhere near... The quality, the quality of the, of the uh, loading screen you just saw. Some players look great. Some players look like garbage. And that's not the way a company that generated four billion dollars last year from Ultimate Team should operate. We'll see Jared gone. Alright, since when have you known Jared Goff to do that? 
but um, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play a quarter team. Maybe just a quarter. Um, but honestly, guys, if you haven't bought Madden than you have last year, be content. Um, it's not. It's not anything to cry home about. And that hurts me to say because I used to love this. Getting mad used to be an event for me. Every single year, my friends would get the game and we would have a bunch of fun for bragging rights throughout the year. And, um... I just don't... I haven't got that vibe in... A few years now. Um, right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. But yeah, guys, uh, it's big season in It's not worth 60 bucks, and even it's like uh, a lot of um, content creators and and uh, uh, you know social media influencers. Look at that. That. That right there, that drop pass, that is a glitch. And they admitted that when they passed the game last time. The ninth time they broke um, receivers and their ability to catch pass, catch passes. Um, but. Yeah, guys, um, if we don't want EA to ruin this franchise anymore, the best way to do it is to hit them where it really hurts, in their wallets. Um, but, uh, this, uh, the PR has gotten so bad for EA that they're pulling out all the stuff. They've given out a bunch of codes to social media influencers and YouTubers and NFL players and rap stars. Uh, they've um, put Colin Kaepernick back in the game as an 80 overall. Now look. I believe Colin Kaepernick should be back in the NFL. I think there are NFL quarterbacks that are absolute garbage and don't, don't deserve a job, and Colin Kaepernick would be an upgrade on any, any of those teams. But I do not believe he's an 80 overall, and I think they just did that because um, they wanted to save face because... Uh, reviews are killing this game, guys, and that's why I didn't want to waste my time and do a review. I just wanted to do a heartfelt, uh, real-time reaction video for you, basically, where I play the game and you can judge from there. But uh, honestly, there aren't enough. Um, new things in the game, you know, for me to even more and writing a review. Um, I'm going to be doing uh, NFL 2K, not NFL 2K, geez. I'm dreaming about a game that should be, because uh, NFL 2K was godlike. Um, Really, what is Robert Woods doing? Why is the camera forcing me to look at his backside? Um, I'm going to be doing a review on NBA 2K. And while it is largely the same as this, where they cut and paste, it executes what it's supposed to better than this does. Um... And they didn't have to update their game 11 times to, to get it right. Um, 
And by that by that point, it's a little bit too late to salvage what you already lost. When I when I say lost, I mean like the, the Metacritic reviews, all of that. Um, the night before I decided to do this, um, yesterday I looked at the whole Metacritic thing. And as it stood, it was points. So, guys, um, I personally can't justify telling you to pick this up. If you already have and you're a football fan, then you know my pain. Um, if you're enjoying it, let me know down in the comments section. Let me see if I can get a touchdown drive right quick so we can end the video on that. Um, but I I don't know, man. It's uh, it's disheartening as a as a Madden guy. There 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 are people that look forward to FIFA all year. I know a couple of people. Um, and I used to be like that for Madden, but maybe my friend was right when he told me, yeah, you played one man, you played them all. And it, it basically just feels like they mail it in every year because they know we're going to buy it. So if you, if you don't want EA to continue to, um, bastardize the game of football, um, then we need to make a. Oh my lord! We need to make a statement by not buying. Um, because football deserves better. Um. Oh my god, man! The um coach that bears the namesake of the game deserves better. And the NFL deserves better, but as long as Madden continues to sell, the NFL will make their money. What, did we get a rough in the kicker? We did? Oh, God. Holding on the receiving team. Okay. So either way, guys, I'm going to end on that note. But, uh... Yeah, don't pick this up if you haven't. It's not worth it. Um, unless you're getting it for free, that's the only, the only way I can justify it. But, uh, guys, I've been the one-handed gamer. Let me know down in the comments section whether you spend sixty dollars on this. Um, and if you're as pissed as I am. Because on the Xbox version, because I game share with my friend Melvin, um, if you spent, I believe the uh, Ultimate Edition was uh, $70, $80, something like that. Um, but if you spent that kind of money and you're pissed off, let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, let me know if you uh, returned it or you still have it because it's football. Pardon me. Um, I want to know all that down in the comments. I will see you guys in the next one. I'm going to be live on Facebook um, right now. Uh... That's going to be, um, www.facebook.com forward slash CP Slayer. Check me out there. I'll be seeing you. Seeing you guys real soon. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts down below.